Welcome back to Let's Play L.A. Noir. It's Ooh, the setup. The setup. Like many cases in Vice, this game, this case also takes a left turn, and it also hits the ground running. All right, let's see what we got here. I did a little boxing in the Marines. Roy, our dickbag partner, is taking us to a boxing game. Oh, so we get to do some gambling? Uh, no, we're just gonna watch because really. Oh, okay. a sandwich, buddy? It's too bad there's no money system in this game. Bologna and ham and cheese, ten. Well, then it would just turn into it's Grand Theft Auto. You'll like this fight, Which it though. kind of is, isn't it? Except for the other side of the badge. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. You sound pretty sure about the result, Plucky limey. Oh, Roy, with your motherfucking slurs every left turn. Uh, let's see. Who do we got here? Let's get a ringside seat. Oh, there goes the King Mike Tyson himself, kicking the bejesus out of the limey guy. I'd appreciate if you don't use rates with slurs like that, but referring to another individual of a different minority than yours. Thank you, Mr. Tyson. Thank you for the after school special. Oh, oh no, how? Did somebody just throw Mike, a chair? That was not Mike Tyson. Yeah, definitely not. Jesus. So, uh... That son of a bitch Hammond real quick, here's story. what happened. Let's find out what's going on. That British guy who knocked out that, uh, black f that, uh, black fellow. He was supposed to lose that fight. A lot of people bet a lot of money for oh. him to lose that fight. Oh, no. And he won that fight. And uh, some people are a bit upset. But you know what? I think those two have got it. Uh, me, personally, I'm kind of hungry. <laughs> uh, excuse me, good sir. Did I get a sandwich? Fix you a sandwich, buddy? Corned beef and egg salad, 12 cents. Bologna and ham and beef and egg salad? Oh, I left my wallet at home. Uh, hey, Roy. Roy. <laughs> Did you spare me some, Roy? Yeah, yeah. Can, can you spot me some for a good old corned beef Reuben? You spot me a dime because I just feel like murdering people if I don't uh, <laughs> if I don't eat. Well, uh, I guess I better help these guys What's out. What's going on? Right. Son of a bitch, Hammond has jammed the door. And who are you? Carlo Arcaro. I'm his manager. I'm his trainer. Interesting attitude to have towards a victorious athlete. Victorious? We had an arrangement. We had a goddamn arrangement. That yeah, yeah some, lost some people are upset. Yeah, oh, oh yeah, yeah, mm. yeah uh -huh. <laughs> right. Yeah. Me and a couple hundred other people. Stand aside. Well, this is an episode to be mad. This is, I don't like this case too much. He squeezed out the window. It's not great. I'll put an APB out on him. Why would we do that? So, I mean, it's okay. Square to prevent him see. from getting clipped. He was paid to flop. There was big money riding on him. Oh, okay. I, I was thinking on how he benefits from this, but they paid him handsomely to lose. Look around and yes. see what you can find. Okay. Which is Hammond's locker? Over by the pin board. <gasps> Wait a minute, does this mean uh -huh. he's possibly a bad man? Why would he throw a fight like that? I mean... Hmm. Oh, but first... Well, first we uh, gotta find him, because he, he fucking booked it. But first, yeah, first we have a newspaper. You look troubled. Courtney uh, Sheldon wanders jam. into Dr. Harlan Doctor. Fontaine's office. He's in a jam? Well, I'm in a peanut butter, son. Is it money? No, no. Doctor. Put them both together, we got a lovely okay. sandwich of problems. I think I would love it if Dr. Harlan Fontaine was voiced by uh, Foghorn Leghorn. Whatever you say, we'll never leave <laughs> I say, I, I say, boy, we got a sandwich of problems here. I say to pay attention, son! You need to sell the mo- I, I say you need to sell the morphine, son! Something. And it's gone wrong. I guess I did it for the wrong reason. For short-term gain. We came home from China on the Cool Ridge. The morphine robbery. That was us. So the morphine that he sold to the gangsters, the he stole from China. Some sort of benefit for no, the sacrifices no. that they made in the war. 
So does that mean China is after him at this point? Oh, I'm sure they do, Courtney. But the deserving aren't always rewarded. He's got a lot of people after him, pretty much. Like we shifted our stuff onto this mob connected. He's guy. got the librarian, the butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker, the guy down the street that looks at him funny. They're all after him. L.A. Cluar. I know that now, Doc. But have you seen the newest you. editions of Clue? I, I have sure not. Few They're all young and handsome looking, and Mrs. White is no longer in it. No, they don't. Mrs. White is gone? It's now, what is it, Dr. Orchid, an Asian lady. Oh, well. All for diversity, but apparently Mrs. White was too old to hang with the young crowd. It's like, move over, Grandma, we got a murder. Uh, Mrs. White passed away? Oh, sorry. That was a little, uh... Uh, unbecoming of me, I shouldn't have done that. I mean, she was in her 70s in the 80s, man. <laughs> she passed away a long time ago. I don't know, modern medicine could probably keep her alive to 120. Not in a murder house like that. <laughs> hey, you think we should knock off the old bird? Uh, I don't know, I mean, she's, she's not doing nothing. What, like knock over a bird cage? Oh, perfect. We'll add that to the newest edition of the game. The newest weapon, the birdcage. So whiplash back to the plot here. Courtney still has plenty of morphine left over. But Dr. Harlan Fontaine is going to buy that morphine off of him. So that way, they both you know, mutually benefit from this. And then he can get away clean. The gangsters won't have a reason to kill him. But he's going to invest that in a housing development. Housing development, okay. A housing development for returning servicemen. People like Cole Phelps and Courtney Sheldon! Oh dear. Anyway, looking in his locker, we've got some bookie here. It's a whiplash back to the A plot. Let's see. Harry. There's a phone number we can January run by 18th. January 22nd. You're not January the only 19th. one who likes a Roy. So they're fixing the books. Oh, wait. That was their, <laughs> that was their betting. You got 22 to 1. Yeah. Oops. They're fixing the odds, they they can get rich. Is this really a case for Vice, or are we just mad that we could get our money? And I love the punching bag. I... well, I mean... well... Ask Roy, I mean... You better find that cocksucker and you bring him to me. I feel bad too, Mick, dear. Well, I mean, he right now, technically, we have a guy the that's on the run be fish food if you because he's me. got a lot of really, really oh, powerfully bad men too? after him, Mickey. like Mickey Cohen here. Don't worry about it. My boys are out looking for him. Oh my God! It's it's that off. guy. Uh huh. Oh no! So uh, it comes together. Maybe Vice should find him house. first <laughs> before. <laughs> The bad guys, Mickey you know, Roy. yeah. I know who he is, Roy. Yeah. I, uh, met his brother-in-law. Oh! Sorry about your brother-in-law. I arrested slash killed him. I think you're the <laughs> uh, look, Mickey, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say <laughs> that. Look, where, where'd you go, man? D uh, dude, dude. Don't go away, madman! Come on! Oh, uh, he's sorry. already... He's already calling up for your death warrant. Oh, okay. man, I gotta think before I act. Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, let's phone in some of these numbers and see if Operator we can get a get an address or something. Putting you through now. Oh, these Cold poor ladies—they never change their tone of voice. It's like they use the same voice clip over and over How again. Hmm. Or maybe there the really only number. is one AL woman three, four, working. Five. At the switch box. The address for the phone number is hmm? the hotel. Only Elmar, one woman for the entire city of Los Angeles. Thanks. I mean, it's the highest paying job in LA. You know the place. And yet, Cole Phillips always gets in number Blop one. House. She's very good at her job. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right. She, she's uh like some of those old cartoons. It's like, yes, hello, hold please. Yes, hello, hold please. Donuts, so about that sandwich. Oh, donuts. donuts. Candy bars. Candy bars. <gasps> three say, cents Roy, for a candy bar? You want to indulge a little bit, Roy? Come on. It'll make you stop being a sourpuss. And w wait a minute. Th those are prices of food items at a sporting event. 
This isn't realistic at all. And well, nineteen forty seven, I guess. I mean Oh shoot, yeah. Had to judge for inflation. So we'll head to the Hotel Elmar. Let's lead to the leads here and uh well hmm. So a lot of people have been asking me. To have a pretty cozy yeah. In fact, uh, I was uh, brought to light about Look this by a comment because I forgot about this. There is actually an achievement for causing forty-five thousand dollars in vehicle damages in a story case. Oh my god! So we're going to be spending a lot of this case just getting in cars and breaking <laughs> stuff and having an absolute demolition derby as we drive from place to place because, frankly, you know, I put a lot of money on that British guy, too, and he was supposed to fall out. I'm out of money, too, but I'm a policeman, and I'm not supposed to take it out on people, so I'm just going to take it out on the city and rack up a huge... Bill, and I'm gonna put the tab on that British piece of shit. <laughs> oh god, I love it. You animals, why did you tell them about that achievement? You could have saved so many lives. We can also try and see how much damage we can try and possibly do and see how much we actually end up doing. Exactly. Oh, uh, speaking of which, your well, car is dead. That car's already dead, so I guess uh, we gotta go ahead and, uh... Get oh, it, excuse it, me, sir. Excuse what, me. What? Hang sit. on, hang uh, on. Up, excuse me. Hold, excuse hold me. up there. D don't leave yet. Car, excuse me. Yes, I know right. I made your, uh, your truck do a fish tail spin, but, uh, I need it. God damn it. break more shit. Boom. What are you doing? Roy, I don't know! Just trying to run into as many things as I can. You idiot. The thing is, this truck doesn't go very fast, and therefore doesn't really gain enough speed to do any lasting damage. So here we are at the Hotel Elmar. Or the Elmar Hotel. Or the Hot Water Cheap Rates Hotel? God. Terrible design. You need to hire an exterior decorator. Hey, it gets the people looking into it. It's like, oh my god, they have cheap rates. And hot water. What do you want? How hot is the water to advertise that you have hot water? No one here by that name. You sure? Hey, uh, hello, sir. Are you housing a person who screwed a lot of people out of a lot of money? Uh, yeah, he's up there in the hot water ward. <laughs> Elmar Hotel. This is a hotel where this is a hotel where people don't use their real names. So let's go down the list. Okay, so let's go. Veronica Lake, Jimmy down. Cagney, Haiti Lamar, Joan Caulfield, Orson Welles, Glenn Ford, Ava Gardner, Shirley Temple, Tyrone Power, Rita Hireworth, and Danny Kay. And on the right side we have Harpo Marx, Gene Tierney, Clark Gable, Winston Churchill, Gene Harlow, <laughs> Humphrey Bogart, Marilyn Monroe, Bob Hope, Vivian Lee, Lena Turner, and Ernie Shaw. What stood out? <laughs> Winston Churchill. Winston Churchill stood out because he's the only British guy in this entire list. What a giveaway. Which means that our friend oh. has been here! I mean, you could have fooled me. I just thought they were going for a bunch of celebrity and famous names, and I would have been totally lost. Only one of them was British. It was Winston Churchill. You're for a British guy. See? You're supposed to think of it as a detective, sir. Oh, right. I guess I'm not that good of a detective. Oh, he liked chocolate. He really did like chocolates. Oddly symmetrical chocolate boxes. Hmm, he's obsessive compulsive. We got here. Oh, there. A movie ticket stub. I wonder where he was at. Hmm. Ooh, a telegram. To Elvira Hammond, home soon, you know, your boy done good. Albert. No chance. He's just gonna take the money and run. He's, oh. he's gonna take all the money he won for not throwing the fight, and he's gonna run home to England. 
Oh shit! It's still warm. Warm can, uh, warm can of beans. That means that he's been here recently. Either that, or he conjured fire within that can of beans. Insta heat. Well, I mean, with all the people trying to burn him at the stake, he's got a lot of fire to deal with. Poke, 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 poke. God, I love the feeling of paper. This is really soft, shiny paper. They put these in magazines? Hmm. Oh. What am I missing here? Hang on. Let's see. Oh, there's Parnell soup. Oh, duh. How about her address right there? Andy has expensive ah. taste. Albert has his work cut out for him. Who's Candy? Who's Candy, and why is candy she important? Edwards, the lady who filled out this coupon. So let's think right, here, let's huh? Girl. See if that gets us any closer. Spin around and think. Think real uh -huh. hard. You check the ashtray. You look at the cigarette, and you see that the there's a woman's Sorry. lipstick here, which means that our British fellow was with a lady fellow. Wait, what's a What's the female form of fellow? A bird. Been doing some homework. Uh, a bird, right. Be a nice little nest egg. So he was doing some homework, meaning that he was doing some math on how much he would actually get if he were to win the fight. Let's so he was like, well, I'll just take my gal, take the money, and go back home. Then they can't touch me. But the problem is he has half of L.A. after his ass now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God. So, all right. Well, uh, looks like our car over here is a bit of a bus, so I guess we gotta find another one. Hmm. Let's Don't see, I need something else to destroy. Ah, here we go. I need this vehicle. Police business. Not your life, buster! <laughs> oh, Rockstar, I'm so glad you thought of an actual, Hammond like, fun achievement to put in the game. The so we're gonna head to Candy Edwards' place, but not <laughs> without having a little bit of fun first. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yes, destroy it all! Yeah. That one was particularly tough. Oh, all this destruction. It reminds me when, you know, achievements and trophies were fun to get. And, uh, right. and now most of them are just like, you know, play the game and beat Whoa. the game and get, wow, and My get hood. all the points. My hood literally popped off. What the heck? That's some destruction. We all did. Standard training. I gotta, I gotta break shit. I gotta find cars destroyed. Here we go. Give me all the stuff to break. Boom! Beautiful. Jesus. I think I killed this one too. Yep. <laughs> well, oh, that happens. If you're going for this trophy or your achievement, just find another one. Yes. Yes. And then. Here we go! Boop! Christ! Oh! Head on collision! Oh, and it killed the truck! That truck didn't last very long, no. Nope. Jesus. Alright, uh, um... What else can we break? Ooh! This is a nice, tough-looking car. Hasn't yeah. anybody heard of locks? Up! Oh. Well, they will, thanks to Cole Are Phelps. Well, I've just been thinking, like, nobody locks their doors here in L.A., which means crazy cops like you could just come in and wreck shop. Of course. Boom. Boom. Oh, oh. It's like, what are the worst people in L.A.? Well, let's see. We got a serial killer and, uh, oh, Cole Phelps. Oh, did it die? Yeah, car's already dead. Hmm. It's mm -hmm. like when the, it's like when the engine's exposed, like the brain's exposed, and then it just shuts down. Do <laughs> <laughs> you remember where we're going? Uh, we're supposed to go to a place, place with the person and the thing that happens. Just just follow the flag. Just try and right. cause as much destruction as much as possible. Oh, oh, we're practically almost here. What's wrong with you? Ooh. Smack the left turn. Take a look. Excuse me. Whoa. Watch out, oh, people. Oh, and a person. 
The what? Aleve Motel? Oh, I myself I frequent the Advil Hotel. I was about to say, with all the destruction you're causing, I might need an Aleve. But I never go to the Tylenol Hotel. I find I have to stay twice as many nights as I do the Aleve Hotel. We're looking for Candy Edwards. Apartment 7. Hi, excuse me, I'm coming here from Motel Penicillin. Can you please help me? friends of the Italian guy. Italian guy? So there's an Italian guy following them now. Gave his name as Carlo. Following like us him, or following British man. Candy, Thanks. who might be following the British man? Candy oh no, <laughs> it's a big long string. Or at least knows where he is. Uh oh. Why is the pool drained? That's terrible. Somebody tries to jump in. Pool's open. <laughs> Yeah, you know, we could go up there and confront, uh, Candy, but, uh, we're at a parking lot. Oh, no, 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 no. So let's have a little fun while we're in no! a parking lot. Let's do it! <laughs> oh, no! Oh, God! God, why? Don't attract the police because you might get Cole Phelps because he might break your car! No! It's my brand new car and you're just drawing it! I'm gonna make some modern art here. Here we go. <laughs> oh, God! Okay. Beautiful. Just pop out of the car. Give it up, got, got anything to say to that, Roy? <laughs> this is gonna be a weird episode. <laughs> God, I always forget how to fight. Well Left trigger! Come on, okay. come on, come on! Deck him! Uh, press Y to perform a grapple. Whoa. Oh! It's like I you were think, punching him in the uh, neck. Um, that worked, right? Yeah, sure. Yeah. All right. Oh, she's getting ready to leave, too. So she's going to leave with the British guy. She's going to go to Britain with him. But breathing. Give her a so did you knock out around. Candy, or...? No, he did. Oh, good. This, guy I just, this guy I just gave a noogie face <laughs> smash. Sorry, I blinked. Huh? What do we got here? Ah, a switchblade. Nasty weapon. Uh oh. All the Italians carry them. A real man uses his fists or a gun. His fists or a sword? You're thinking of Roy? <laughs> then over here in his other pocket, over here. Hmm. George Ray. Well, Carlo here seems here to have the same Robert. friends as Hammond. What are the odds on the mall being oh. makers? Oh, sweet prince. Filming in another in another life, we would have been friends. We would have made a lot of money together. We would have thrown a lot of fights together, but alas. <laughs> anyway, excuse me. Uh, well, let me just uh, step over your body a few times. I need to work on my hopscotch techniques, of course. What do we got over here on this dresser? Well... Now we know how they're getting out of the country. And with what? Single ticket. One way. I guess there isn't a lot for Albert in Ohio. So she's going to Ohio and he's going to London? Is that what's happening? Take a seat, Miss Edwards. We have some questions for you to answer. No, I was wondering if we were going to be able wrong. to question people. Ever? I well, find that pretty hard to believe. We ha we were looking for a lead. We found a lead. Let's question our lead. Can you answer some questions now, Miss Edwards? Sure, I've had worse. I'll shake it off. Good. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's. Where is Hammond? We're trying to track down. Albert Where's a British guy? We have reason to believe he might be in danger. Do you know where he is? <laughs> no, I don't. Not might. Albert, he I is in danger. <laughs> <laughs> but you're lying. I know you are. Look at your lying, lying face. Man. You were in his hotel room. He came back after the fight and you were Please there. tell me where what he happened? is. It'll go a lot you smoother for everybody that. involved. Well, looking at the magazine coupon that How you filled out. You, Candy? you wrote your name and address on a coupon. Look, Albert was supposed to take a fall. We were all supposed to make a little money out of it. But Albert got too goddamn stubborn. Said his pride was all he had left. So I told him, shove it. 
Let's see his pride keep him warm at night. So you walked out before the mm. fight? Yes, I did. Mm. What's the problem? I didn't take it. I don't buy that for a second. Yeah, I was just thinking that she still had something to gain. Mean anything to you? Could be anybody. How the hell would I know? You're still lying. Pictures, aren't they? Tell me the truth. How the hell would I? How know? the hell would you know? Because you had bookmakers' odds. Well, yeah. <laughs> Albert wrote his winnings down on a notepad in the hotel room. <laughs> We found the odds. Hello? Who has the betting slips? That son of a bitch, Albert. Everyone thought he was dumb, including me. But he beat them all. You're leaving town, Miss Edwards? So why is she leaving yeah. town, then, if she Stay claims home. she has nothing to do with Edwards? Albert is going home by boat as soon as he collects his winnings. I know you're going to meet him. Albert is going to collect just nothing. Just calm down, Cole. He's just asking a question. How will you fare any better? They already believe you're in on it. She's in on it. She's hiding want, him. <laughs> and we team. know it, and she knows it, but she's not going to admit it. Because she knows we can't get her to admit it. He's behind the curtain! Ah! Oh. And get rid of that pig sticker. You ever pull that thing on me, I'll shoot you like a dog. That bitch knows where Hammond is. She knows where my money's gone. My money too, tough guy. I'll handle this. Uh, Roy. Great. Yeah, oh well. Great. She's dead. She's so dead. Well, no, no. No, no, no. See, the thing about Vice is that even though we exist on the unders belly of the criminal world, we're still the law here. So we're going to handle this humanely. We're going to find Hammond. We're going to bring him in. Roy's going to rough him up. He's going to be angry. But that's why Cole's here. We're here to be the cooling milk to the habanero pepper that is Roy, the rotted, uh, disgusting habanero Tail pepper, but still broad. spicy Don't all the same. Away. You know what Don't I mean? Get spotted. I'll bring up the car so, you. what we're gonna do is she's gonna leave, we're gonna stake her out, and I'm going to very discreetly follow this woman around town. <laughs> you know, you could have done without the hat, you idiot. Dum de dum, here I am, just. Uh, excuse me, miss, I need to ask you a few questions. Oh. <laughs> oh no. And then she just up and vanishes in thin air. Okay, well I thought that maybe I could just be polite and ask her directly. Just tackle her in the middle of the street. <laughs> Tell me what you know. <laughs> ah, you will not be spotted while incognito. Stare. And she's like, oh hi, Cole. Oh, fuck. That, uh, <laughs> so, I will just follow her. Just by walking. Excuse me, Miss Me! Uh, just, just following quick, you know, just very gently behind her. <laughs> I would love it if she turned completely around and you had to dive in the pool with no water. <laughs> All she hears is the crunching of bone. Yes. She doesn't suspect a thing. I better take cover over here. And... Ah, she suspected the thing! Fuck! Wow! Ah, come on! An instant 360 turn. Not even 360, sorry. 180 turn. There we go. So that takes you right back to the beginning. With the Every time? Of course. Every time, pretty much. Oh, God! So I will hide behind this truck then. Fine. It's all right, ma'am. I'm just testing collision detection. I'm working on my moonwalk, miss. See, watch the spin. If she does it. So where's she going? Oh, that wasn't an immediate spin like last time. Maybe if I follow too closely behind her, she does an immediate spin. So let me take cover behind this fence here. What? <laughs> she must have seen my face as I quickly ducked down. So fine, mm -hmm. we'll just we'll have to metal gear solid this whole thing. We'll have to just hide behind cover and follow her like a goddamn stalker. Dun 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 dun. Yeah, this is even older than. Metal Gear Solid 3, so... This could be a prequel to the entire Metal Gear franchise. Oh, 
god, next Cole Phelps is gonna go into a jungle and eat snakes. Cole Phelps' DNA is extracted and then to put inside uh, another promising young female soldier, and that becomes the boss. I don't know. Oh, I was just thinking, like, Cole has a daughter at the end of this game. All of a sudden, she's, you know, calling the shots and everything. She's the boss. <laughs> Well, she's going to a crowd now. She might be harder to see. Excuse me, guys. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, she's going to the right. She's not crossing the street at all. All right, now find a barrel or a cardboard box. I'll just keep a safe distance and try not to stand out too much. A dog starts nipping at your heel. <laughs> what are you, Mister, what are you doing? Are you following that lady? Yeah, kid, take a lo lollipop and shut up. Hey, lady, she, he, this guy's following you. <laughs> you little rat, and then you football kick the dog and the kid. <laughs> She's crossing the street. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 I have you now. Run into a car. <laughs> oh shit! What? What? Come on! Alright. She's got like fucking eagle eyes, I swear! Well. At least it doesn't take you all the way back to the newspaper, so that is very oh, fortunate. God. So let's give this another try. Bullshit, this isn't a stealth game. She needs to have vision cones. Now we have her just little icons, but what is fun to notice here is that there are far less people here this time. Yeah, they must not have loaded in properly. Yeah, they didn't load at all. Because we started loading further away from this point. And now that we checkpointed here, we come back here and now there's less assets. Hmm, it still has to load that shadow on the pole, though. Well, it's a seven-year-old game. What do you expect? Whatever. I know, I know. Go incognito where you just kind of tilt your hat? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm just going to see right through that! Well, what I can do is I can preemptively hop on over here and then hide Aha. in the bushes. This is a good idea, yes. Hide in the bush. There we go. <laughs> this is a good idea. <laughs> Alright, she's going. Oh, Phelps, you wascally wabbit. She's going through this housing development. If maybe she lives in one of these houses with somebody. Excuse me, sir. Hey, what are you doing, buddy? Get away from my car. Stalking some lady. Police business, sir. Oh, okay. And thus Cole Phelps invented the NSA. Where is she going? She's still going, my god. Alright. Oh, there we go! A box! Put it over your head! Instant camo! I can't interact with them. Move in. Can't risk losing the trail. <laughs> One of your camouflage options is jumping in the dumpster. Might be, but I think if I jump in there, I'd make even more noise. So she rounded the corner. Where is she going? Excuse me, sir. Turns out she's leading you on a wild goose chase, and she's just gonna go straight back to her apartment. That wouldn't surprise me. Hello, Jets. Oh, oh, I remember the old fireproof warehouse. Yeah, that burned down in 76. <laughs> Mm 
and the owners of the warehouse were, were caught providing false ev uh God, what do I want to say? False advertising? Thank you, God. Thrifty liquor! Hey, there we She's, go. She came all this way for a drink? <laughs> hey, they're cheap drinks. Ugh. I'm sorry, there's nothing that's all that appealing about dollar vodka. Bookmakers? So you can get an entire nice bottle surprise. of vodka for a dollar. Ugh. Whoa! So, we could investigate the liquor store, or... No, 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 no. We were almost free. We Off were almost we go! Free. Look out, L.A.! Oh, Are you no! L.A. safe! <laughs> oh, God, no! Uh, like uh, <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Oh, oh. Oops! Oops. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, boys! Oh. Look at the exposed brain! No! His hood fell off. And his hood. Oh, is it finally dead? Huh. Oh, thank God, it's finally dead. Alright. Your reign of terror is over. We got that out of our system. Let's go into the liquor store. <laughs> A blonde woman just came in here. She went out the back way. Said she What's going on out there, by the way? Select. Jeez. She cleaned me out. On the Hammond Kid Galahad fight? You got it. I'm not complaining. We all made a lot of money on that one. Huge plunge on Galahad, and then Hammond knocks the bum out. So she collected the money and went out through the back door. Nope. She made a phone call over there, wrote something on a notepad, and then left. I mean, we could have caught her had we not been causing senseless destruction. So she probably took a cab in the time it took for us to get the... Oh, shit, sorry. I might have taken too much time there. Oh, I love this trick. What do you think it's saying? Ooh. Uh, looks like an address. Examiner. 1487. Ivar Avenue. Ivan Avenue? In Hollywood? Oh, Ivar, Ivar Avenue. Avenue. Yeah, you're right. We know where she's headed. Let's get moving. Well, all right. We have an address. All the clues are collected. So it's time to get back and do a. Ah, oh, how clever. All those cars are gone now. <laughs> <laughs>